Uh, welcome to it, to all of our sports fans this morning. Um, take a deep breath. Lots to get through this morning. Kat, I, I'm going to treat you with kid gloves today. I'm not yeah, even going to talk about I'm, English I'm football. Very, I'm very fragile, very sensitive, <laughs> very emotional about everything that happened over the sporting weekend. Like I said, a terrible weekend to be a supporter of any of the teams that I love so much because it was just Dude, were beating even, after even, beating after beating. There were even Venga out signs at the cricket. <laughs> so you must know, I mean, that just brings us full circle. Oh, wow. Let's start with the plethora of goals. And um, we love to see goals in a Soweto. Derby. I mean, we've had a run of about eight games. Out of that, six of them have ended in goalless draws. Yeah, yeah. So um, it was good so to see some yeah, action actually happening. And that, yeah. that proves a lot. It also shows a lot of the, pie, the firepower that's in Pirates at the moment. And they are chasing and chasing hard for that league title. So, yes, it was 3-1 to Pirates. The Buccaneers, well done, guys. Temo and Corsi Lauter opening the scoring in the 21st minute. Leonardo Castro bringing them back on level um, turns. Then Mamela scoring twice in the second half to hand Pirates that 3-1 win. Some cracker goals. You can see what it needs to the team as well. Um, but why this is so important, Pirates are now in second place on the log, keeps them there, uh, 39 points. That's just four points behind um, Mamelodi Sundown. So they really are in with a shout now. Um, and Chiefs sadly dropped down to fifth. I literally had somebody pull up a message that I uh, had tweeted them from like five years ago. <laughs> When last Chiefs won, yeah, you see, Twitter, Twitter always saying, remembers. Hey, how are you doing right now? And I was like, Oh, <laughs> did you take dare. one of those photos where you were carrying your, your emblem? Just like, yeah, <laughs> yeah <I'm okay."> um, <laughs> absolutely love it. So Bloom Celtic getting a one 0 win over Ajax Cape Town as well. Super Sport Maritzburg sharing the spoils nil nil. Platinum Stars two one down to Free State Cape Town City back to winning ways two 0 against Chipper and Mamelodi Sundowns again just powerhouse at the top there three one over Amazulu then. We moved to Las Vegas. Yeah, yeah, on a national Dude. sporting front, uh, the Blitzbacher started off so well at the Las Vegas 7s, but then it just all crumbled after uh, a shock uh, defeat. A, a lot of youngsters in the side are now proving their worth. The structures are still there. They played brilliantly, but anything can happen on any of these weekends. It's such an unforgiving format. We know yeah. America, and they ended up winning the Las Vegas League. They were absolutely brilliant. For me, Soyuz Vapi Shakes was brilliant, one of the standout players. He was kind of having to fill the role that Sinatra normally plays, that line breaker, that pace man out on the wide which yeah, he did a brilliant yeah, job yeah. Um, but ultimately we, we ended up losing uh, we placed fourth we lost to Fiji in that that third fourth place playoff I think Fiji with a massive point to prove after losing against uh, the States and uh, there uh, I mean <laughs> Harry wow. Baker the US in front of a home crowd were just too strong but yeah. not all is lost um, I think Fiji were probably the big winners this weekend um, they uh, solidify their place in third um, on the, the overall standings Blitzburg are still oh. at the top of the standings mm -hmm. so not too much to, to worry about um, and New Zealand of course in second 82 points there um, 10 points behind and then Fiji chasing hard with 79 points yeah and then finally let's quickly take a look at uh, some cricketing action over the weekend the first test against the Aussies underway uh, in Durban and uh, uh, other than Aiden, Aiden Markham with 143 43, if you'd asked me an hour before the uh, close of play yesterday if I thought we were still in it with a fight yes I thought we were Mitchell Stark comes in with this death ball bowling getting reverse swing the amount of wickets that fell with that ball just sneaking in between bat and pad. I mean, how do you face a ball that starts here, goes there, and it goes there, hits there. the pitch and ends up there <laughs> um, at 147 <laughs> kilometers an hour. So I think Mitchell Stark, definitely the match winner there for them, but we're still in it. Yeah. Why? Because Mornay Morkel is at the crease on naught of 23 deliveries, which means he's controlling <laughs> block it himself. Out, mate. You block, block it, it out, out. <laughs> um, <laughs> And Quinton de Kock clearly back to his best, but his frustration, he's on 81 at the moment, but you could just see his, the pain in this poor man's face as the wickets fell yeah. on the other end of the, but we're there, we're still there, we're still at the crease. Come on. Yeah. Come well, on, Monet. As I continue to <laughs> block out the pain of this weekend's sporting results. 23 runs. <laughs> that was a wrap-up of the sporting weekend.